Fred Hawke is a late developer, 13-year-old Ian Thorpe is the complete opposite. His age group dominance is staggering. At the recent Queensland Short Course Championships, he won five events out of six, setting three new all-comer records along the way. You look at records and we all realise they're there to be broken, but along comes somebody like this who just turns a record book on its ear. Um, I, you know, I hesitate to, to, um, uh, to build him up too much, but certainly he is one of the outstanding talents that I have, I have ever seen, I would go so far as to say. Already standing 185 centimetres, that's about six foot one, and wearing size 15 shoes, Ian is an imposing 13 year old. It's not uncommon for him to go into an age group competition and win every event. At the New South Wales Age Championships, he won all nine and broke nine all comers state records. He's considered the fastest swimmer for his age in the world. And he's arrived at this level probably a little prematurely, I guess. But, I mean, what are you going to do? You're not certainly not going to hold him back. The only thing we do do is make sure that he's, he's not stressed or he doesn't get overtired. And so we, we're, we relax him a little bit on some of the sessions. Ian comes from a sporting family. His father, Ken, played first grade cricket for Bankstown with Len Pascoe, Jeff Thompson and Steve Small. His 16-year-old sister, Christina, is a member of the national swim team. Ian played soccer, but at eight, started swimming. I was sick of um, watching my sister swim up and down at swimming carnivals, so I decided if I can't beat him, I'd have to join him. The question in many minds is, will Ian maintain his development and his edge as he gets older? The doctors say he'll probably grow another 10 or 12 centimetres. His size is a plus. So too, it seems, is his temperament. I know I'm doing it because I love swimming, and that's the only reason I'm doing it. I've got no pressure or anything to keep on going. It's my decision, and I love it. I want to see you building up so that you're using, using your legs on that last 50, OK? A little more. Ian takes the demands of the sport in his stride, the success with humility. There's no histrionics in victory, no punching the air, just quiet acceptance. Even when he broke nine records, in one weekend. Winning isn't everything. Um, I believe that I never want to be a sore loser and I will get beaten. Winning the nine state records or breaking them was I think a bit of a dare on his part because he happened to say to me, how can I have Monday off? And I said, oh, if you go out and break nine state records because I never thought he'd do it. So I had to give him the Monday off for school. <laughs> Although he mostly competes in his age group, Ian has taken on the seniors, finishing fourth in perhaps the most hotly contested event in Australian swimming, the 200 metres freestyle. In the year 2000, he'll only be 17. And whilst the Olympics are not an immediate aim, they remain an intriguing possibility. It's not impossible. There has been, has been younger swimmers, younger male swimmers represent. So um, I, even this year, Michael Klim was just 18 plus. So. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a chance. I do think about it a lot, but I will be very young for a male to swim at Sydney. But if I'm good enough, I'd love to go. Terrific prospects. Charles Stewart reporting there. Later in the